Hey, what is up people? This is Johnny and today we're going to continue our Pokemon Emerald adventure and we have left off here where there's a lot of berries that we can get here and um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go into the next city which is Rust Rustboro City I believe, that's what it's called and we're gonna f go ahead and battle our first gym which is required to go over there and here we got a person that wants to battle us right now with Zigzagoon, they have a Zigzagoon. I like Zigzagoon because it can learn so many stuff and it's just freaking amazing Pokemon. Alright, so this person wants to battle and they got a low tad and we're gonna go ahead and use Peck because you know Tello can use Peck. So yeah, as you can see I do have some Pokemon that already have been uh, defeated in the, the gameplay but that doesn't matter. And there's wing attack and you know we're gonna go get ahead and get rid of Growl because you know wing attack is such a better remove. Alright, so let's keep going and we got these two people here that want to battle. These are the twins and this is going to be our first double battle, I believe. And since we learned wing attack, we're going to go ahead and test it out in battle for the first time. And we defeated one Pokemon. I don't think Poochyana is going to like gain a lot of experience because simply we totally freaking have that Pokemon l leveled up already. And here's the fisherman, which, why well, keep it a secret? I'm a water Pokemon expert, huh? You don't know me? Of course I don't know you. Why would I know you? You're a stranger. And Tello is doing such a great job. I freaking love this Pokemon. I always love having my flying type in every single adventure. Um, I also like having an electric type. And it's just awesome to have those types. And here we go, Magikarp. Um, so yeah, when you use Magikarps, you're not going to really do much. It's just a proven fact. And this old lady right here, she says, If you see berries growing in a loamy soil, feel free to take them. But make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common. Here, I'll share mine with you. Alright, so she just wants to have us plant the berries. You know, the little blurry things when you plant stuff. And here we go into this little area right here. And you'll find a Pokeball X Defend. And um, let's, let's keep going. So yeah, um, right now we only have running shoes, which kind of make us run Route 104. And we're now in Rustaboro City. So we're going to go ahead and go into these buildings and talk to some people. Some people give us stuff and, you know, I don't know if this lady is going to give us something. Nope. She said the Devon Workers Corporation is here. And um, I think this person may give you something. My dad is working at the corporation. Yep, she gives you a premiere ball. And let's see what this dude will say. Ah, uh, pretty much nothing. I'm always looking for items. But I do remember one thing about Pokemon Emerald. Some HMs you have to talk literally to people in order to get them. You won't get them any other way. Devin's president likes to collect rare stones. Um, I think the president's son is also collect rare stones. Uh, what was I going to say? So the HMs, there's some people that you certain have to talk to in order to get the HM, like cut. Uh, it's one. Of, it's in one of these buildings, which I don't quite remember. But we got a Premier Ball off of there, so that's pretty cool. Um, and there's like a Pokey School here too, I believe, somewhere. Um, I don't know if it's this old man. Um, no, this guy's just talking about nicknames and bet his wife is too. Alright, so let's go into the next area. And this is the trainer school. And here will be the guy from the Battle Frontier. Hello, didn't we meet before? I think the metal in Petalburg City. Let me introduce myself. I I'm Scott. I've been traveling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I am looking for Pokemon battle experts. So what brings you to the school? Are you a trainer too? The first thing you should do is have a Pokemon that learns a move cut. If I remember correctly, someone in this town has cut. Alright, so he gives you the tip about somebody having cut, but you know we're not gonna go. And now this old man is gonna do his little lecturing. I don't know what is he doing. And then he gives me something. Students who don't study get a little taste of quick claw. Whether or not you're a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. Obtain quick claw. So we already got uh, quick claw, which is pretty cool. You know, it's a free, for free tool that you can use. Um, doesn't really matter. Let's go into the Poke Center because I do remember that I have to heal some of my Pokemon because they have have truly been wounded in battle. Okay, so 
Alright, so I can't find the guy that gives me cut. I know it's in one of these buildings. I will eventually find. Ah, I think it's this guy. That determined expression that I limber the way you move. Anyway, well trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No wait, don't say a word. I can just tell by looking at you. I'm sure that you can put this hidden machine to good use. No need to be a modest or shy. Go ahead on and take it. Obtain the HM01. And obviously that's cut. Allows you to cut trees, you know, a little stuff like that. Alright, so uh, we went to the Pokemon school. And, um, you know, if you go all the way to Route 115, I believe, um, there will be some item here that you can get. And what is this? Like? Exploring the cave isn't. You never know why Pokemon will appear full of suspense. Alright, so let's just run over there. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and go and get this super potion. Super potion. We got a super potion. Let's run back into the town. Woo! Alright, so we went. Well, <laughs> okay, I need to stop going too fast. Anyways, let's go back into the town and we are going to face the first gym leader. I believe the first gym leader is Roxanne. Alright, let's see what these trainers say. Don't take the gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why you're better. Why I'm better? Alright, let's see what Josh sends out. He's gonna send out a water gun. I mean, a Geodude. I use water gun on him. It was pretty, fe pretty easy to defeat. Pretty pitiful, actually. I like how in the different games they show you how to, what kind of Pokemon that, when you enter the gyms, you know how in other games they, they I believe in Pokemon Black 2 or White 2, they they tell you what kind of Pokemon you should use in order to attack it. So we're having a big battle versus mainly Geodudes, and Geodudes just go fast down with Water Gun. I always recommend using Water Gun. <laughs> For the geodudes because that's the first thing they're gonna go down with if you use the mud slap uh that's kind of a ground type so they'll probably survive a little so go ahead and use water gun and you'll you'll do just fine all right water gun there and uh water gun again and we have defeated both of them and my tello is at level 14 now so that's awesome and what what is this my mudkip is evolving man i freaking love mudkip well, you know, it has to evolve at some time. It's already evolving. And one of the things I was going to mention in this video is that I freaking love the music in the game. I don't know if I have mentioned this in the last, but I freaking love the music. It just brings back memories. It's really awesome when it brings back memories. Um, also, I freaking love how they have Battle Frontier and all of that stuff. That stuff is really fun. I can't wait for it um, to can't wait for the remake of these games I'm just gonna be very excited playing them uh, Battle Frontier is going to be fun now I know back in the day I was like a little I wasn't that good at Battle Frontier but now that I have a gain knowledge in this game I could probably gain all the badges so we'll see if they bring back Battle Frontier all right let's go and battle Roxana hello I am Roxana the Rustboro Pokemon gym leader I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon trainer school in battle would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon all right let's see what kind of Pokemon so she has the typical Geodude here and Marsh Stomp is gonna go ahead and use a water gun and um, yeah let's go ahead and use water gun again let me guess her last one will be nose pass which we yeah, yeah it was nose pass Alright, so just go ahead and use Water Gun. It's a very defensive Pokemon, but it's a, it does have a decent good level, like level 15. That's a pretty good level, but you know, if you have a Marsh Stomp, you really shouldn't have a problem or any other Pokemon. I think Fire also takes Rock pretty fast. Alright, so we defeated it, and we're already level 17, and she'll give me a TM Rock Tomb, I think. Cloud received the stone badge, so we finally got our first badge. The stone badge is heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move to cut outside of the battle. Please take this with you to obtain the TM39. That technical machine contains Rock Tune. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the po the move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can be used only once, so think before you use it. Alright, so we got a TM, 
And um, let's go ahead and go into our bag and go ahead and teach a little bit of cut into one of my Pokemon. And we're going to teach it to Zigzag Goon because that's going to be the Pokemon that's just going to learn stupid moves. Because I think he can even swim. I think Zigzag Goon can swim. Usually that's a Pokemon that can swim, you know. I'm not sure. Get out! Of the way, so the team aqua was up to no good again. So, wait, please don't take my goods. Okay, so they took this dude's goods. What was this guy? Hmm, a sneaky looking man. Come to think of it, yes, a shady looking guy went around the corner. Okay, that's all you had to say. All right, so he'll talk to us right here. Oh, it's you. You're a fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg's wood. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get to the Devon Goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Because that's their prototype, I believe, off of the company of Devons. Alright, so... My Pokemon Rule. Check them out. Who is this trainer? And look at this name. Youngster Joey. Youngster Joey. Come would like to battle so yeah he comes back when almost every single generation you'll probably be seeing youngster joey because you will not forget that name youngster joey is famous in the pokemon universe of the games and um you know he's um he went down he had a little what's it called matchup that's a pretty weak lean pokemon okay so ooh, abra and i got a pokeball so I know that he will teleport if I don't do anything, so let's go ahead and use Great Ball. I want to catch an Abra. I really want an Abra. An Abra. No, the only way that I'll... P ah, crap. And it used teleport, so it's not there anymore. Alright, so Bug Catcher Jose has... Used a Warm Pro, but that Warm Pro didn't stand the chance. I need a Kata. Bug Pokemon Evolve. Yeah, they're Bug Pokemon. Cool. Alright, let's do some training real quick. Here, we can do a little fast training. You know, it's always awesome to do a little fast training. Before I am able to get out of this area. So, yeah. Alright, let's continue our training here. And we'll just be fighting these Pokemon as fast as we can. Um, you know, I'm a level 18. I think I'm just going to train one more. And uh, we'll get out of here. Alright, so let's go into that cave and see what's going on. And there's going to be some more trainers here. Ah, this Nidakata. Ninkata. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I never knew how to pronounce this. I study at school, whatever. You study at school and you're a little Pokemon trainer. So let's go ahead and take it down. We did. Ooh, awesome. Alright, so... Here we can have like a dual match of these two guys are facing each other and look what we got here. A Pokeball. Nothing has been obtained. Alright, come on. Ah, these dudes didn't want to battle together. Youngster Johnson. Okay, so Water Gun again and Water Gun, which is not a good idea. I should have just used a Tackle. Tackle there. Yep, Tackle does the trick. Uh, okay, so these guys might have like a rock type as I expected it did have a rock type All right, so another guy wants to battle with rock types can't believe I'm actually running out of water gun It's because I battle that gym. That's why I'm running out All right, let's see what this guy says Hey, Roar, what's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That tunnel is filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for the tunneling. I'm worried that that goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon into the uproar. Alright, so he's talking about the Pokemon. Alright, so that's what cut comes in handy and I'm not scared of battling any trainers like these two I was definitely battle them and they're like rich boy and um the other Pokemon trainer tackle on low tad and wing attack on zigzagoon because you know that's how they'll take more damage in an instant and tackle it doesn't matter wing attack on whatever 
And yeah, it's doing pretty good. The battle in 14. I'm a level 19, so yeah, that gave me some Poke Dollars. Ooh, okay, so... I don't run from a battle. I'm not scared of any battle, so these trainers are useless. <laughs> thinking they're gonna scare me away. But no. Wing attack on the water type. And I actually did destroy it first. Nah, it didn't, because <laughs> I attacked it twice. So yeah. One thing I wanted to mention was that the Pokemon contests are going to be fun in those little Pokemon tents. Uh, Pokemon Battle Frontier tents, I believe. Battle challenges. Those those are going to be really awesome. And the secret base. I remember I used to have like a freaking secret base here. And I was like, oh, I'm such a badass. I got a secret base on Pokemon. And that was always customizing and stuff. I think, I don't know if your friends could visit it. But I think they could have somehow linked in some way. I don't know. Alright, that Abra is starting to piss me off. Maybe with an Ultra Ball I can catch it later on. But as of right now, I can't. There's a Pokeball here. Alright, so I remember that one person had some things that they were missing. Oh, what am I to do? We were walking on the walk in Pico and I win. And I win we were jumped by an, an odd dog. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Roar, Pico. So his Pokemon, this is the guy that later on, as I remember, he lets you travel with him. We'll defeat him right now. He's probably an easy trainer. Alright, what the hell is this? Wishmer. Yeah, man. I, I, I'm I starting to remember all the Pokemon names thanks to playing these games. What are you coming? Come and get some then. Grog, Kleelow, it's all that hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey you, so you want to battle me? Of course, Team Aqua, we're going to battle you. And uh, they take out a Poochiana, so... Water Gun actually did the damage against it. Pretty much it, all the damage. This is plain not right. The boss told me that this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was steal some packages from Devon. Tish, you want it back? That valley, take it. Obtain the Devon goods. Cloud put away the Devon goods in the key item pockets. Pico, I am glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Brainy, and you are? And you so are Cloud, I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the sea near Petersburg's woods. Come Pico, we should make our own way home. P.U. I think he got the Devon's good back, or what? Alright, this is where we'll stop and we'll continue in the next video. Thanks for watching my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough.